You are with the big story here. I'm Seher Zama. In a gruesome crime that has been reported concerning a 36-year-old man who was sexually assaulted by five men in Navi, Mumbai, in Maharashtra. The victim assaulted to the extent that he had to undergo emergency surgery after being taken to hospital following this sexual assault. Now, this incident that took place on Monday, the FIR, this which was registered on Wednesday, according to the police, the victim was allegedly forcibly pulled possibly taken by the accused to a deserted spot where he was sexually assaulted. Let's get in further details before we throw this open to our panelists on the big story this afternoon. We have with us our correspondent Neha Kulkarni getting us further inputs here. Uh, the circumstances under which that crime had been committed uh, and how easy it's being now where police patrolling, where no street lights, where no CCTV available in between developed sector spots here. Uh, Neha, this, this seems to be with increasing frequency that you have crime easily being committed in these spots. Absolutely, Seher. And if we have to even talk about this place, this is a proper residence area in Vashi, which we are talking about, uh, where the accident has happened. While we understand that uh, that uh, the Jagrateshwar Mandir Tala, exactly where the accident took place, it's not very far away also from the main road. And as we pointed out earlier also, there is an clear absence of CCTV cameras, proper lighting in this area. So I am standing right now at the exact location where the incident happened on Monday night, where this uh, uh, victim was obviously taken away by uh, these five men and uh, allegedly gang raped. But if you can see this area which I am talking about, uh, this is the exact spot obviously where uh, the accident has taken place according to the first information report which has been filed uh, by uh, the police. And if we have to uh, strategically uh, place this area for our viewers, you can see it is not very cut off from the residence. It is not very cut off from the place where people stay. So this is the entire uh, residence mm. here wherein a, a good locality is there. And uh, just close by is a school. And we've been told here by the locals that uh, school children, because uh, there, is a, uh, uh, there is a lake out there, there is, uh, there is fresh space out there, open space out there, many school students after the school even uh, frequent uh, that area because uh, um, uh, frequent that area after school. So that it, it definitely means that how it is is a proper public place which we are talking about and lack of CCTV uh, uh, lack of CCTV cameras absence of police personnel and absence of proper surveillance in place makes this area so susceptible to most of such crime incidents happening in fact joining me here is one of the residents who claims that they have repeatedly written to their local leaders to ask for the increased amount of CCTVs but still okay. no action has been taken sir batai aap sham ke time pe agar aap bola jaye to kitna uh, pe safety ki hai, aapke se, kya missing hai, kya CCTV cameras enough hai CCTV camera must hai yahan aur hum kai nagar sevika hamari yahan ki hai unko bhi hum log ne insist kiya hai mahapalika ke logon ko bhi hum insist kiya hai lekin koi hamare taraf dhyan nahi de raha hai yahan yahan sham ko Okay, all right, very quickly, Neha, I'm going to go across to our guests, uh, taking in that input, input that you've got us from one of the residents there, that there have been multiple requests here in, in increasing patrolling and increasing the use of CCTV cameras and even street lights. We have with us uh, spokesperson of the BJP, Ms. Shaina NC with us. We have Dr. Pasricha, retired DGP Maharashtra with us here as well. Uh, first to you, Dr. Pasricha, uh, given the fact that this is, this is not a new concern being raised by the residents, this is a horrifying crime with absolute brazenness that has taken place. And the police is struggling now to nab the culprits because of lack of information, lack of police patrolling, lack of presence, lack of CCTV cameras. Well, I'm of a strong, strong view that uh, the entire metropolitan region of Mumbai has to be taken as one entity mm -hmm. for effective, uh, effective and coordinated patrolling. Now, in Mumbai, they have already installed about 5,000 CCTV cameras and surveillance has improved, and they have been able to detect a lot many cases in the last uh, couple of years. So I think the same extension of surveillance okay. system must be made for Navi Mumbai, Thana, Thana Commissionate and all those areas because criminals don't confine only to Mumbai. 
they normally try to find out the isolated pack, uh, uh, pockets and Navi Mumbai has too many mm -hmm. along the That's mangroves right. are there, you know, in the sea beach where this offence has taken place. There are a lot of mangroves and beaches, a lot of people come, go in the late evening, even young couples and all that. So these things are happening, so it requires better surveillance and better patrolling. All right. Uh, uh, Shaina, if you would please respond to that. Uh, and because we're, we're also now looking at this uh, uh, with respect to election time with uh, your government in power in the state having completed five years, uh, this was part of your uh, vision document in the year 2014 as well uh, in improving the workings of the police force, its modernization in reduction of street crime and reduction of women-related crime. We're five years down the line here. And uh, we will be looking at an area such as Navi Mumbai, which continues to remain vulnerable to this nature of crime. Well, I don't think this is an issue which is limited to Navi Mumbai or Mumbai. I think the larger horrific story is that we hear of rapes when it's a case of women, which is a dastardly act of a perverted mindset. But here the perverted mindset has percolated down even to men. And uh, if you can have a man rape like this in Vashi, it's a, a comment on our sociological problems. And we as a society need to fight it collectively. Yes, there must be fear of law. I agree with what Ms. Dr. Pashtricha said. There are over 5,000 CCTV cameras uh, in Mumbai, which was a monumental project of the Honorable Chief Minister, which proved to contain crime in the Mumbai um, and Greater Mumbai Island City. But we need to make sure that this percolate down and it spreads to even areas like Thane, Vashi, Navi Mumbai, etc. Because crime is crime. The sad part is that as we speak, first my heart goes out to this 37-year-old victim who is suffering um, uh, life surgeries and uh, on life support as we speak. And I think that uh, whether it's a case of chain snatching or it's somebody who rapes or assaults or misuses power, the fear of law that our government is committed to ensure that perpetrators of crime are met with and dealt with severely will be our endeavour. And as for now, I can only assure you that the Chief Minister has announced that he will be monitoring this case himself as Home Minister. So we will ensure justice is given out at the earliest. Okay, that, that, is, that is another assurance, of course, coming in uh, only after the crime has taken place, that there has been a repeated request there by the residents of Navi Mumbai, even in this particular area of Sector 8 that we're looking at. Let's get in a word here from Mr. Rajiv Mishra, activist with us on the phone line. Mr. Mishra, thank you for being with us here. Uh, as, as far as uh, promises there that were made by the government and pulling down uh, on incidents of crime, and this is in a very... Uh, areas such as Navi Mumbai, which is which is close to Mumbai, Navi Mumbai, which is uh, uh, developed with respect to uh, different sectors, but yet there are these lonely spots, there are these spots here, uh, which, which completely lack surveillance, which completely lack police patrolling or any presence of CCTV. देखो मैं सब हमको लगता है कि मुझसे पहले साइना एनसी इस पर बोल रही थी कि लोगों में फियर ऑफ लॉ क्रिएट करने के लिए उनके गवर्नमेंट की तरफ से बहुत प्रयास किया जा रहा है मगर मैं बहुत ही क्षमा प्रवर्ता होते हुए मैं साइना एनसी जी को ये बताना चाहता हूँ कि फियर ऑफ लॉ तो आज लोगों में कहीं दिखाई नहीं दे रहा सबसे बड़ी बात यह है कि समाज में ऐसे आदमखोर लोग पैदा हो चुके हैं जो जानवरों से भी ज्यादा खतरनाक है और इनको किस तरीके से सबक दिया जाए या किस तरीके से इनको आज कंट्रोल किया जाए ये आज समाज में एक बहुत बड़ा प्रॉब्लम बन करके क्रिएट हुआ है ये ऐसे आदमखोर लोग हैं कि जिनके ऊपर रहम की कोई बात नहीं होनी चाहिए इस तरह का हीनियस क्राइम जिसकी आप कल्पना नहीं कर सकते उतना हीनियस क्राइम इन लोगों ने किया है और ऐसा तभी होता है जब समाज में लोगों के मन से कानून का डर निकल जाता है अब रही बात नवी मुंबई के कुछ प्लेसेस की तो मैं आपको बताऊं मैंने यहाँ के पुलिस कमिश्नर को लेटर लिख करके ये बोला था कि नवी मुंबई खाड़ी के किनारे बसा हुआ क्षेत्र है यहाँ बहुत सारे प्लेस ऐसे हैं जहाँ पर कि आइसोलेटेड जिसको बोल सकते हैं 
इन आइसोलेटेड प्लेसेस पे आप सीसीटीवी कैमरे की व्यवस्था करें क्योंकि यहाँ कभी भी लोगों को किडनैप करके लाया जा सकता है डेड बॉडी जो अन आइडेंटिफाइड डेड बॉडी है वो बहुत भारी पैमाने पर नवी मुंबई में बरामद होती है उसके अलावा जो आइसोलेटेड प्लेस है वहां पर अगर कपल चले जाते हैं तो कपल के साथ मिसबिहत की घटना बहुत बड़े मात्रा में होती है राजीव मिश्रेस्टोंड हेयर टू दिस apart from of course acknowledging acknowledging this as a, a sociological crisis as a heinous crime the question that we are asking here is not to be patting ourselves on our back saying that we've done so much for mumbai but what about the other adjoining areas uh, given that as dr pasrija just pointed out that these are areas that criminals know criminals do their own research on ground they know that these are areas which are not watchful under the police well i must concede that i take both the suggestions in great spirit because i believe a lot more needs to happen whilst we contain crime and here it is uh, in the public domain that it's not just limited to women but in this case uh, to a man too and as we know the topography of navi mumbai and vashi and the mangroves it sometimes becomes harder unless we use technology to the best of our ability not just through cctv cameras but sometimes even through drones and i'm sure that the mumbai police will crack this case but having said that in order to have fear of law it can only happen with the political will which our chief minister has endowed on multiple occasions and i'm sure in this particular case the guilty perpetrators will be given the most befitting punishment because rape is rape irrespective of whether it's a woman or a man Dr. Pasricha, in your view, how easy is it going to be here for the police to crack this case here, Dr. Pasricha? Because we know that the police in this given area is already struggling. They're saying that there is no CCTV, there is no evidence to scout through, and they're not being able to nab the culprits. Today is Thursday. This is a crime that took place on Monday. Well. police will be encountering difficulty in uh, nabbing the culprits in the absence of proper surveillance system and uh, especially when the victim is uh, pretty serious so but then there are various uh, methods of investigation where they can prepare potted parley you know can be used where the victim can help draw the sketches of the accused people whatever he can remember even if he can help in uh detect uh, detecting one then other other four five uh, mm. accomplices can also be caught and police also has their own uh, uh, system of sources which they have already give, which they must have already geared up as professionals and uh, let's, I, let's look at the current status of investigations here yeah, correspondent neha who's been getting us those details okay yes please go ahead dr pasricha complete your point Well, uh, I I have already spoken to Police Commissioner and Joint Commissioner before this uh, program of yours, and they are very confident that they'll be able to detect. But then, yes, they are encountering difficulty in the absence of uh, you know the surveillance system. I think those have to be installed sooner the better. And the moment the victim is uh, slightly better, they'll be able to. take his help to draw the pictures and uh, the sketches and and i'm confident with the help of the sources uh, neha help us understand as you've been speaking you know, to the residents there neha which i can't share on this do do they see the presence of police frequently in that area in keeping vigil in keeping check because this nature of a brazen fearless crime that has taken place which is not exactly an isolated area or 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 a lonely spot it it is it is between residential complexes it is between two sectors here but the brazenness with which this crime has taken place it's evident that the culprits were aware that they would not be nabbed there would be no one keeping a check here
Absolutely, sir. Absolutely, this is the exact point with which the the culprits have taken advantage of because we have frequented this place at least for two hours in the morning when we conducted a recce. We saw that there was hardly any street light. There were hardly any CCTV cameras around in this area, and it is not that it is a place that is not much visited by people. It is a public place. It's it's got a lake there, and many people come there in the evening to take a walk. And they have always complained. They have always said that yes, there is an absence of proper police. Surveillance, proper uh, CCTV cameras uh, to guard them, and in fact, when when there is a school around here, when little kids uh, uh, come here, uh, uh, the parents also mm -hmm. have claimed that yes, efforts uh, should be taken to uh, increase the surveillance around this area. Ma'am, आप बताइए आपको यहाँ पे frequently police का गाड़ी दिखता है आज बाजू जाते वक्त क्योंकि ऐसे ऐसे कोई नहीं है तो ये नेहा इस क्वेश्चन बीइंग वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट ऑन व्हाट इज़ द पुलिस सेइंग ऑन द नेचर ऑफ़ इन्वेस्टिगेशंस कैन द पुलिस जस्ट स्टॉप at saying that there is no cctv camera because of which we are now struggling with the case that is something unacceptable to hear from the police absolutely not sir so there are two things which are being clearly given by the police as far as the investigation is concerned a that they are trying to trace the cctv visuals so that they are better able to understand who these five people are how they look at exactly because the details have been given by the victim these are some sketchy details that have been given and they are trying to ascertain they are trying to a find whether these uh, uh, these uh, people who have the culprits are a residents of the same locality or no because we understand uh, that beyond uh, this place uh, we we uh, we have been told that there, there is a healthy Amount of residents who stay here, they also frequently visit this place in the evening, in the night time, and uh, which is what the police are trying to ascertain through the CCTV mm -hmm. visuals. And second, they are waiting for uh, the victim to come back uh, into the normal state to recover, to uh, become stable, so that uh, with uh, the victim they will be able to again come back to the spot, get more details about where the accident took place, and also further if he himself will be able to identify uh, the other people uh, who conducted the act on him. And later, uh, take a recce of the area and understand uh, uh, where they were. Okay. So this is as far All as the right. investigation. All right, Shaina. Shaina, please respond to that because uh, this is this is a residential area here where you have young children, you have young families. This is an area where there is a school nearby as well. Despite that, you see an increasing frequency with which crimes are being committed. Why wasn't last month's case a wake-up call? Last month, you had. the navi mumbai municipal corporations chairpersons home being burgled why wasn't that taken as a wake up call you you see that crime that continues in the area of navi mumbai well all i can say is this speaks about the social fabric as well every time there is a crime we question the administration but sometimes we need to introspect as to who are these perpetrators of crime and why they are choosing to be uh, left in the open so the endeavor of the government and the state government will clearly be to get these perpetrators behind bar but also that the punishment should be so severe that in the days to come we ensure that this is not repeated now when it comes to rape we all know that rape is a matter of a uh, exertion of power it has nothing to do with a political party in power if at all the amount of cases which have been registered under our government have increased which show that people have faith in the system they know that they will be punished in due course of time and more importantly for us as a society we no but china you don't feel crime is increasing because of lack of policing it's not just a question of a pervert mind abusing his position of no, power no These are not very powerful people that we're talking about. They no, very clearly I, know I, that there is lack of police presence. There I, is no I, one to nab them. They can go ahead and go ahead and commit their crime. These 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 could be street no, lumpen I, elements I that we're talking disagree. about. This is not I'm a question not... about being in a position of power. It is not a question about questioning the social fabric of our of of our society. But right now we should be questioning lack of policing. why is these crime why are these crimes being committed with such fearlessness we must acknowledge this shaina that criminals are aware criminals are so aware they are identifying spots and locations where they know they can get away with the heinous to fall crimes in this circumstance should we be questioning the social fabric so I do acknowledge the following points. Number one, that yes, we are short on police personnel. 
a lot of us have personally given up all kinds of security uh, for the larger issue which is that the common man should be given as much availment of facilities when it comes to the police force and our endeavors to employ more force whether it's women or men that is one aspect of the debate that's right but this is, is something that was promised in 2014 china you are acknowledging this the third your vision the document third, of 2014 we are looking at the, the elections look, of the next term 2019 5 years after your government your vision document was about police recruitment and bringing out reforms in the police force that hasn't happened for 5 years we are still talking about the same thing and we are still talking about it in a there circumstance where crimes have increased. There are three aspects to this debate as I said. One is fear of law, second is police personnel and third is use of technology. All of which Devendra Fadnavis as chief minister and our government is working towards. Having said that, the fear of law that we talk about also requires a lot of judicial reforms. So we can sit here and completely deliberate that, you know, there was one crime uh, which was committed last month and why has this happened again? But I think a little bit of soul searching and a little bit of public participation with the administration will put uh, us in an easier position to solve issues such as this and to solve murders and crimes which are heinous in nature like rape. What the citizen expects here is police vigil. What the citizen expects here is for the government sitting in power to fulfill its promises that were made five years ago. We're going into elections for the state of Maharashtra next month and this is something that we should remember when people of Maharashtra, Mumbai, Navi Mumbai go to vote. This was a promise that was made in police reforms, in bringing in reforms and recruitment in the police force to increase vigil on ground that has not happened. Crime that has increased in frequency in the past five years, this is something that you need to bear in mind. No, there is no soul searching here. We should be asking these questions to the police, to the state government. Crime increasing in frequency is not our fault. Thank you for being with us. छोटू hmm?